Hello and welcome. I am Saurav Agarwal and today we are going to talk about one of the challenges in a data set an imbalanced class distribution. Consider a scenario where you have to detect whether a person has covid or not. How are you going to determine that? Well, you would say that you could take into account certain features or attributes of a particular person such as his temperature, his heartbeat, his oxygen level and then build a classifier on top of it however if we go by statistics the positivity rate across the world for covid-19 is close to 5% now in such a scenario the class distribution would be highly imbalanced our minority class where the person is having covid would have a very low distribution in our entire data set wouldn't that lead to an unnecessary bias obviously yes if you build a classifier the classifier could simply predict that none of the per people have <coughs> covid-19 and could very well achieve a very high accuracy of say 95% but is that right are we able to see the right picture the answer is absolutely no right now how do we handle such an imbalanced data distribution There are multiple techniques that we deploy in machine learning in order to handle our imbalanced data distribution. The approaches could be broadly grouped as two categories. One is the data approach, the other is the algorithmic approach. Under data approach, we modify our data in order to resample the distribution, whereas in algorithmic approach, we assign different techniques based on the algorithm. First of all let us go through the data approach under the data approach we have two primary techniques undersampling and oversampling if we go by the names themselves undersampling means undersampling or reducing the reducing the majority class whereas oversampling simply means that adding more data points of the minority class under undersampling we have two primary techniques the first and foremost technique is to randomly remove data points or randomly choose data points from the majority class and make it comparable with our minority class right and another technique that we have is a near miss to near miss algorithm works by computing the distances between all the minority class versus the all the majority class labels now based on a value of k the majority classes with the smallest distance to the minority classes are selected now talking of oversampling again in oversampling we have two methods the first is randomly adding data points into our major randomly adding data points of the minority class into our majority class labels however those class labels are simply duplicates of the minority class labels that we already have or we say the data points are duplicated and added to our data set Another technique is SMOT. You must have heard of SMOT. SMOT is synthetic minority oversampling technique. The uh, uh, SMOT works as the very first step of SMOT is you compute or you randomly pick up a minority class data point. You compute its k nearest neighbors in the minority class. Now of these k nearest neighbors, we randomly assign a data point along the line connecting two points. between the minority class in our k nearest distribution or k nearest space okay hope the algorithm makes sense to you hope you understand that it is not simply duplicating a data point of the minority class rather it is imputing a data point of our minority class now we understand that both oversampling and undersampling would help us deal with imbalanced class distribution however they have their own disadvantages for undersampling we would have loss of data whereas for oversampling we have higher chances of overfitting next we talk of the algorithmic approach the algorithmic approach tries to modify the existing models in order to deal with the class distribution the first approach under algorithmic method is the cost weighting approach it is nothing but assigning weights or higher weightage to the minority class labels whereas lower weightage to the my majority class labels which in a way directly handles the class distribution 
another technique under algorithmic methods are one class classifier the way one class classifier works is it simply considers a majority class as one of its class and all the other data points as others or outliers now we learn the distribution of the majority class whereas anything that does not belong to the majority class is considered a minority class which in a way helps the model learn the pattern better now apart from the data approach and the algorithmic approach we have certain metrics that are best suited for measuring the performance in case the data distribution is imbalanced some of these metrics include such as i have already talked about these metrics in another video the link to which can be found in the i button above do check that out and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet do subscribe now share it with the friends and data science enthusiasts stay tuned keep learning see you in the next lecture have a nice day bye bye